Hey guys, this is Scarlett at Build Across, and today I'm going to show you how I paint our camper paint by line. This is in our kits that we offer, and we offer four different sizes, so you guys can choose whatever size that you would prefer. I'm going to go in first, and I'm going to base coat white, and every kit includes the cutout, the paint, and a pack of assorted brushes and a sheet that details how to go about painting this kit. And on the second sheet, it actually has an outline of this cutout that is numbered. So you can actually just follow that. And I have the numbers that coordinate with their colors. So you can just kind of follow it that way. It's very self-explanatory and very easy. But I also want to have these videos for you guys in case you have any additional questions. And of course, you can message us with anything else you may be wondering about. I'm going in now with my light gray color and I'm painting this second part on the camper. After that, I'm going to go in with the charcoal color and I'm going to paint the bumper, the center of the tire, and also the door. And for this, I'm using the largest paintbrush in our packet um, and I'm just rinsing it off and wiping it off with a paper towel in between colors. For the base coating, I'm not too particular about the paintbrushes that I use. I recommend that you use whatever you feel most comfortable with um, because it doesn't really matter. I like to use the larger brushes on larger spots, just kind of uh, makes it go by faster. But whenever I do the detailing and highlighting, I am a little bit more particular with those brushes and I will make sure to let you know what I use when we get to that step. Next, I'm going in with um, the black and I'm painting the windows on uh, the camper and also the window on the door. And I'm also gonna paint the tire. Now I'm just rinsing that brush off to use um, for the top part of the camper, which I'm going to be painting turquoise. So I'm going in now and doing that. And I did go back in and do a second coat on this turquoise um, just because I felt like it needed it. But you guys can use your own discretion. If you feel like any of these steps need a second coat, uh, go back in and do that. Next, I'm going to go in and paint the flags on the camper, and I'm actually looking at my guideline for this uh, to see which colors I'm going to use. I'm going to use lavender and the light green, so I'm going to go in first with the lavender and paint every other flag. And I am using a smaller round brush for this step just to be able to get um, in the tighter parts of this flag. Now I'm going in with the green and I'm going to paint the rest of the flags. After I'm done with this, I will go in and do a second coat on whatever I feel like needs it. I chose to do a second coat on the white and the blue. So after that, I'm going to give everything plenty of time to dry before proceeding to my next step when I use my Sharpie brush stroke marker. I will use this marker to outline and I will just be following the lines that are etched into the cutout. Um, kind of just using those as a guideline. It makes it very easy and these lines are super clean using the marker. Um, I really enjoy using the marker because I love how clean it turns out. Just going in and following all the lines, kind of just letting your marker rest into the grooves. And then after that, I will go in with the number four round that is provided in your paint kit and some white paint, and I will just highlight everything. Of course, I recommend that you skip this step if you don't feel comfortable with it, but um, it will look fine without it, but I chose to go in with it to brighten everything up. And whenever I'm highlighting, I recommend to just kind of follow the curves of the cutout. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and enjoy these paint kits and have a great day.